So this video is just based on how to calculate cash flow. So what actually is cash flow? Cash flow is the movement of money going in and out of a business. So uh, for example, you'll have inflows and that's all the money that comes from different sources. So uh, it's not just sales revenue, even though sales revenue is probably the most common um, form of inflow, but it could be a bank loan, it could be government grants, it could be subsidies from the, uh, from the government, it could be share capital from investors, uh, any source where money is coming into the business will be considered an inflow. And then you've got your outflows, so your money flowing out of the business, and that's just every single expense the business has. So it could be, for example, the variable costs, it could be uh, it could be fixed costs, it could be uh, even the starting up costs in the first month. Any, any cost, any expense that the business experiences, it will be money flowing out. Now, I suppose there's three top rules for cash flow. Rule number one, is knowing the formula for your net cash flow. So your net cash flow is uh, simply your inflows minus your outflows because that tells you about the, the money moving around the business in a particular month. But because cash flow is so related to previous months and, and the next month and so on, you also have to think about the, the closing balance. Now, what the closing balance will be is your net cash flow plus whatever you started that month with which would be your opening balance. So for example, if you imagine um, it's, it's November now and the very last day of November, you're reaching midnight, you're going into the 1st of December, whatever money you've got left in November in your account will then go into your opening balance for December. So your closing balance of one month will then go into your opening balance of the next month. So just a reminder of the, the first formula, your net cash flow equals your inflows minus your outflows. Now, um, that is not the same as profit, because remember, your inflows, it, it could be anything, any type of money coming into the business, it is not just sales revenue. When, you when you're when considering profit, that could that is just simply your sales revenue minus your total cost. With net cash flow, it's any kind of inflow minus your outflows. The second formula, your closing balance equals your opening balance plus your net cash flow. Now, if they do not give you your the opening balance within the question, the chances are what they've given you instead is the closing balance from the month before. Because remember the rule, the uh, the closing balance of the month before becomes the next month's opening balance. So this is a past GCSE uh, question for Edexcel, and it's uh, it's a standard question that you get quite commonly regarding uh, filling the missing gaps. Okay, so you've got January, February, March uh, cash flow, and what I would do is I'd I'd simply pick the uh, the first option, which is the easiest to calculate. I right, build your confidence up a little bit, make sure that you can kind of work out how the cash flow is being calculated. If um, it, if maybe in the exam the pressure is getting to you a little bit and you're not a hundred percent sure. So for example, the net cash flow. Uh, it's a simple calculation of your inflows minus your outflows. So you know that the inflows in February in this business is £26,000, but the outflows is actually £30,000. So they've got more money leaving the business than actually going into the business. So you know it's going to be a negative net cash flow. So that would be a minus four or minus 4,000. You can do it in brackets if you want, as they've done in March. So in that month, I don't know uh, at the moment, I'm not talking about how they started the month, but in that month in February, they've had more money leave the business. They might still have a positive balance. As you can see, their closing bank balance is 40,000, but um, it might it might highlight a few concerns, especially as in March, they've also got a much greater negative net cash flow as well. Right, so. So as we can see there, February is minus four for the net cash flow. Now regarding, I'd go for March next because again, I think March is this is this the easiest as well because it's just your standard formula that you would use for a closing bank balance. So you'd have your net cash flow plus your open bank balance. Now because it's uh, in brackets uh, 51, it means it's minus 51. So it's minus 51,000, but they have got an opening bank balance of 40,000, which is positive for the business. So if you do minus 51, plus your 40, you'll get minus 11. So minus 11,000. So again, the business in that final month, you could argue that there's, there's concerns. And uh, now we obviously don't have enough information as to suggest uh, why it's minus 11. They've obviously got uh, major outflow problems because it's having an impact on their whole bank balance. Um, and if I was a company, I'd be definitely delving into how they could reduce those outflows or, or maybe actually increase those inflows. I mean, their, in their inflows are increasing every month, but obviously nowhere near at the same rate as their outflows.
Right, the next one, the reason why I've left this one to last is because it doesn't follow the usual formula of net cash flow. And the reason for that is they've actually given you the net cash flow of 12,000. Now you've got the inflows of 25,000, but you do not know what the cash outflows are. So you're going to have to play around with the formula a little bit. Now, what I would say is if you know the net cash flow is positive and you know it's 12,000, that must mean their cash inflow is greater than their cash outflow. Now, if it was the other way around and you knew that the net cash flow was negative, then again, you would know that their outflows are greater than their inflows. So in this case, it's positive. So uh, what I would be doing is I'd be subtracting the 12,000 from the 25,000 to get your outflows. So if you wanted to check that was definitely correct, uh, I'd always double check, especially if you've got time. I do your 25 minus your 13, like you usually would with net cash flow, and you'll get 12. So you'll get 12,000 and that's how you get the three marks. So now what I do is this is another example of a past paper um, cash flow question. I'd pause the video and just have a quick go at calculating the following. And then what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the answers and explain why they're the answers. So August, it would be minus four because it's 26,000 minus 30,000, so more money leaving. So you've got your minus four. For September, it would be uh, 27,000 because They've got a positive net cash flow of 5,000. So all you'd have to do is your uh, 22 plus 5 because you know your inflows is going to be the greatest number out of the three. And for October, it is 50,000. What they've done there is they've put the opening balance at the top, but you still use it. Add it to your net cash flow of 5. So 45 plus 5 equals 50,000.